The last time President Obama himself was in Southwest Florida, he faced some tough questions from voters, including one who really stood out. My name is Julio Asagueda. I'm currently a student at Edison State College. Okay, I've been at the same job, which is McDonald's, for four and a half there years. Right. Do you have any plan or any idea of making one that has been there for a long time receive any better benefits than what they've already received? College student Julio Asagueda garnering national attention after he addressed the president during the Commander-in-Chief's 2009 visit to Fort Myers. Foreign your corners Matt Grant tracked him down today to see how he feels about the president now. Matt? Well, Patrick, two years ago, the president was in Fort Myers to make his pitch for the stimulus, but one of the event's more memorable moments came in the last few minutes. Who could forget this guy? Oh, there's such a blessing to see you, Mr. President. Thank you for taking time out of your day. Oh, gracious God, thank you so much. <sighs> this enthusiastic, perhaps over-the-top greeting gained national attention. When I watched the video myself, I was like, wow, I really lost my mind. <laughs> but for Julio Asagueda, it's not every day you get to speak to the president. Speaking so to the first African-American president of the United States, he came to my, where I live. That, that's something unheard of. Now 22, a lot's changed since then. He's dropped out of college, is taking online classes, and DJing after being laid off from McDonald's. When you spoke to the president, he noted your energy. Are you still energetic about the president? Yes. Yes, I still am. I'm very, very excited. Asagueda says he's knocking on doors, trying to spread that excitement, even though he says he hasn't seen any benefits from the president's policies. Honestly, not really, but I'm hanging in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not complaining, and, you know, I'm really, I'm surviving. And on this day, with the First Lady fundraising in Naples, I asked what he would say if she called on him. No way. I, I, I picked by the, the First Lady Obama now. <laughs> Michelle Obama coming to town, I think it's really, it's a really great idea. So you know he's committed. After our interview, this Vietnam veteran and Obama supporter approached him to show his support. Well, I just remember how crazy he was. And while he might be remembered for this. Oh, there's such a blessing to see you, Mr. President. Thank you for taking time out of your day. Asagueda hopes someday he'll be remembered for much more. Yeah, I just hope for, better, for bigger and better things this next coming term. You know, and, you know, President Barack Obama has my support. Well, there you go. Asagueda is currently studying broadcasting. His goal, to be a radio DJ. We're live in the studio. Matt Grant, Fox 4 in your corner.